Hi, I'm Philip, and this is my oral presentation for assignment 2A. I am considering hosting an online esports event for Fortnite as a multiplayer tournament. The game design lenses created by Jesse Shell I will use include the lenses of experience, competition, goals, rules, and skill. The core, the first lens, the core experience goal is required to use this lens. I must stop thinking about my game and start thinking about the player experience. The player needs to experience competi competitive multiplayer gameplay. The player will have to have controller, keyboard, console, and internet connection, a Fortnite game, and the basic understanding of computer and video games to have this experience. My game captures this essence with online gaming through mechanics, dynamics, aesthetics. If there is a significant difference between the experience I want to, to create and the experience I create, my game needs to change. I will need to articulate the core experience I want and find as many ways as possible to make it happen. I will infuse this essence into my game. Lens 25, the goals lens is there to make sure that my game objective is consistent and well balanced. My ultimate in-game goal is for players to compete in an online game tournament. The goal is clear to the player with the rules displayed in a multiplayer match. I intend for the goals to be basic and consistent, and players will have to get the hang of the match or read the rules beforehand. The goal, the different goals are related as they are repetitive rules. My goals are specific, achievable, and rewarding. There will be a good balance between short-term and long-term goals in terms of various matches within the tournament. The players will not be allowed to decide their own goals as each match will be the same in terms of rules. Lens 26. To use the rules lens, I will look, look deep into my game until I can see its most basic structure. The basic rule of my game is a free-for-all match where players must attack each other. There will be different a different from business rules in terms of not making a profit or being an official event. There are some rules or general rules that form as the game evolves, such as an eye of the storm that shrinks and players may be eliminated. They have already been integrated directly into my game. I am sticking to a free-for-all event, but there are different modes in the tournament. These modes might make things more complicated. The game would be better with fewer modes. I will enforce the rules by creating the event. The rules are easy to understand. If there is a mistake, I will have to correct it by changing the rules or explaining them more clearly. There is a common misconception that designers make games by sitting down and writing down a set of rules. That is usually not how it happens at all. The game, the rules of a game are gradually established and evaluated. The designer's mind is often active in the realm of rules of action, sometimes turning to a ground rules point of view when thinking about how to change or improve the game, final game once the game is playable. Part of a designer's job is to make sure there are rules that work for all situations. I will remember to take careful notes as I test because during this test holes in my rules will appear. If I fix them quickly and do not take notes, the, the same holes will reappear. A game is its rules. Give them the time and consideration they deserve. Lens number 27. To use the skills lens, I will stop watching my game and start looking at the skills I require in players. The skills my game requires from players includes the ability to control the character and understand open-world MMO third-person shooters. The skill to complete puzzles, create art, and comprehend complex dialogue is missing in the game. An outstanding skill is the ability to kill the most players in a match. These skills will create the experience I want. More experienced players will be much better than others in these skills. This will make the game unfair, but players improve their skills by practicing. The game will require a certain skill level in terms of understanding this genre of game. Practicing skills can be fun since it is one of the reasons people love the game. Of course, it is only fun if the skills are fun and rewarding, and if the level of challenge strikes the ideal balance between too easy and too hard. Even boring skills like pressing buttons can be made more interesting by discussing them as virtual skills and providing the right level of challenge. Use this lens as a window into the player's experience because skill determines experience. The skills lens works quite well when combined with the required experience lens. Lens number 36, the lens of competition determines who is the best in a certain field is a basic human need. Competitive games can satisfy this craving. I will use this goal to make sure my competitive game makes people want to win. My game does not provide a fair measure of player skill since it will have unique experience levels. People want to win my game because it is an online tournament. Winning this game is something everyone can be proud of because they will be rewarded with experience and collectibles. Anyone can join my game from, from novices to experts as it is intended to be a simple online competition. Experts, however, will be more capable of defeating novices as they will have more skill. Um, significant areas to cultivate um, include 
uh, standard organized content for esports will be demonstrated in research evidence in terms of conception, culture, and theory. There will be a communication of design or cultural choices focused on esports where the key elements of esports will be discussed and implemented persuasively and critically. Enhancement will be demonstrated since the design project will provide a fresh look at esports or build on an existing model in a way that makes sense. Prototyping will be a bargaining score in terms of playability and communication by telling the player what to do. Functionality and interactivity will be demonstrated in a well-balanced prototype that interacts with esports. Expression and representation will be justified by a prototype representing the core idea as the game process will illustrate that I am discussing or promising in my presentation. Accessibility and other cultural considerations will be represented in a playable game without further instruction for designers with hardware suitable for the design that is easily accessible. I will schedule a clearly defined development outline of the final timeline and focus task for 3B. In terms of the timeline, uh, exercise 2A is a checkpoint for a major project summary, one page project and oral presentation in class with 10% due by week 6. Um, August 26th, the oral presentation and assessment colleagues based on the abstract. Assignment 3A is a main project prototype presentation progress overview and peer review statement is worth 50% due uh, week 10, uh, semester, September 30. A class key pro uh, project prototype presentation timeline overview and peer review replay. Uh, for assignment 3B is an oral presentation of um, a major project and completed project artifact uh, of an eSport game level event module with 25 with 35% due on the 12th week. Uh, the final drafts will be reviewed live throughout the tutorial. I will be prepared to submit my playable software and upload the video link to Canvas before my tutorial. Each student will submit a 5 minute video to, on YouTube adding the rubric scores. Following the video presentation, eSports artifacts will be available for further play and discussion. And this is the bibliography. Thank you.